Incoming transmission. Good morning, cadets, and welcome back to our Ardrain campaign. And implicitly, and hopefully for us, last battle for Rune in this campaign. We are doing the open field in the end. We do have a bit of advantage over here with one of my reinforcing army. Just gonna have to see how well they do. And which army has engaged? This army that has some royal knights as well in it. And they already lost 1%. The rune army, that is. The army from the city and the faction leader implicitly is coming from this side. And this army is about to be hammered from three sides soon enough. And we only lost... 1%, they lost 5% already. Let's have my Cav actually come on this side. Or should I say Gimelka's Cav. What do we have there? Heavy infantry, tribesmen, uh, a lot of archers. Should I inspire the troops? Hmm. Might as well. I think I'm gonna wait until this army is engaged a bit. So far we're doing alright as it is. There's some legion, more legion against their calf. It shouldn't last that long. Right, they already lost 21%. So it's not exactly a rush to inspire my troops. This heal is, is helping a lot. Which is good. And let's go after those Our archers. Whoops! Nerd goes one of my captains, though. Eee, not a good start. And let's inspire. Okay, those guys instant round. Perfect. If we continue like this, we will smash the enemy. Can chase them. You can try to maybe you'll break them as well. Somebody was rotting over there, if I saw correctly. Good tidings. The enemy general lies Perfect. Dead. Is that the factioner or faction leader? That's the factioner. Lost the cow over here, and now they are properly rotting. Perfect. Lost another cab. Oh well. And, uh, you can chase those guys. You need to chase properly over there. You can get them. Please, no friendly fire. Thank you. We do need to try to stack wipe both armies. That is. Just some hunters. Here you can get them. Although, hold up. On this side, what's going on? We have some guys rotting on that side. Perfect. So let's chase those guys. And then we can double back over here. Hopefully. The battle is very much in our favor. Victory will be ours. Okay, you finish with him. That's cav routing. Uh, don't think you'll catch them. Maybe you'll manage to catch these guys. You caught them. Perfect. And here I need to catch these guys and then double back and on those 16 archers over there. Sure, you can go after them. You finished over here. Let's go towards this army here. The enemy are badly bloodied. They have lost half their men. Okay, you caught them. 
you get them perfect we managed to finish over there and I don't need you to walk come on okay you caught all of them and you can come from this side perfect 89% one army is for sure gone these guys should still fight till the last man for now because they have the faction leader alive I'm just gonna hang a bit around it's not exactly a rush otherwise I'm gonna get friendly fire and all that and I'm really not in the mood so far this should be a stack wipe as well of the units in the city there's the faction leader yeah perfect this is stack wipe on both accounts we got Mataran which implicitly means the end of Rune and the only one left is Mordor and that's around four more settlements, I think. Come on. He's just a faction leader and maybe somebody else around here. Although I cannot see him exactly where they are. Ah, he's fighting with the general around here. It was Spearman? Yeah. 29 more Spearman. And they're fighting to the death. It's only the faction leader. Perfect. So no need to do chasing. Our men have slain the enemy general. A worthy enemy, but no less dead. Be Would have to say. Victory we have won here today. At least recovered one cav. I can reinforce the cav from one of these army. That's not a problem. But I have to say, yes. Uh, rune was kind of a tough nut. To crack to be honest if we didn't have these many reinforcing armies would have been a long bloody war against them even so we lost a lot uh, anyhow i'm just gonna manage the city and all that and i'll see you i think in the next turn we should have the message regarding Grun being gone but we shall see right and okay no messages regarding rune and nothing else returning completely lost in the eye and again i forgot that once a faction is taken out despite the fact that uh, we just cleared all the armies from rune this went rebel and they do have an army inside <sighs> it's annoying also in other news none of those generals that they brought from here were good enough for Logarth. This general though from both Southeast was good enough to give some growth. So I just swapped the generals around. This guy is remaining here while this general is remaining here. It should be 400, like around 12 turns more or less. In the meantime what else is finished? So all good. Speaking of both Southies, I can replace the guild house. Bullgram fully rebuilt. Perfect. Santa no, you have the roads. All good. Anywho, now since we only have Mordor to fight, I've been thinking about something. Yeah, it has a bit of armies over here. There's not much going on, to be honest. So I might just do a lot of turn skipping and only show the fights for the cities and all that. Because at this point it's literally just move these troops towards Mordor, maybe put more towers around, Mordor, manage Lord. the cities and all that. Which I can easily do that off screen. Also like, you know, in terms of uh, saving time, that is. 
So I think this is gonna be the last couple of episodes regarding or oh, that depends actually, not regarding. Depends on how long these fights take and all that. But by the looks of it, let's say this episode we're gonna have the fight for Sergost. Maybe Tharband as well. Who knows? But then it's all Morigost and Baradur remaining. In that case, I think it's maybe tops two more episodes after this one. Maybe even next episode we're gonna finish the campaign and all that. But yeah, I'm gonna start doing the skip now and I'll see you in the battle for Sergost. Alright, and here we are in the battle for Sergost. Took uh, quite a lot of turns to get here. I think we're close to like maybe six, seven turns ahead. And unfortunately, he did not leave all the stacks around the city. He again tried to move around and blockade the movements of my stacks. So this is all that's remaining. This still has the two Nazgul's and one proper general around here. Uh, that he has a catapult which he just dealt a bit of <laughs> friendly fire. We shall see how well this goes. We should be able to win this. No worries. It's just the casualties in the end for us, I would say. But yeah, still a bummer that they decided to try to blockade, you know, the way for my troops on the campaign map. Anywho, I think... Oh, there goes my captain, I guess. I think we're good to inspire my troops, I would say. Who's way behind you are? I think we might as well. The enemy general lies dead. Okay, which one and where? Oh, that was Kamu. Okay. Let's inspire my troops. These guys out here are fighting to the death. They wound out, wound up right in the middle. Ow. Uh, what's their black Uruks? Yo. Can we go deal with them? While here... Can charge over there. I can try to assist here. We might have some uh, cavalry casualties as well. Ah, there goes one, there goes the second one. Continue like this, we will smash the enemy. I try not to keep them in a prolonged fight, that is. We can retreat from here because I don't know. No, not retreat. Uh, it's not like that, and one bodyguard over there, orc band. Go after their cab, actually. Hold up. Those guys shouldn't last too long. And you are here. What can you do? If we continue like this, we will smash the enemy. Only half the enemy force remains. Uh, not much. You don't have a clear path, actually. These guys, though, you can chase them. Perfect. They're the last half. You finished with those temple knights. Might as well take you on that side. But you should have. A bit more clearer charging options. Run. 
so far the last 60% already cool let's break up that party some halberds going that way and you the enemy are badly bloodied they have lost half their the halberds on that side we continue like this we will smash the enemy you might as well cross that way chase them and they're in position more or less break them but but i already got camo game what was that We go after the ballista. This guy's here broken. Perfect. If we continue like this, we will get those smash archers. And that's it. Okay, those guys are routing. Actually, chase. Okay, the better option will be to chase. And that's the fight. The Perfect. Army flees the field. Pursue and run them down. There's still the proper general as well. There's another general around here. We await your and as far as you remember, there should be another Nazgul as well. Good tidings. Yep. The enemy general lies dead. Perfect. Lagoran. The enemy army flees nah, the nah, nah, nah. Try to catch as many as possible. I'm not in the mood to put the city under siege while he's, I don't know, when he has a couple of guys in it. Get them. Who's trying to run around here? That's Uruk bodyguard. You can go after the bodyguard while you guys chase them and you chase them. And that should be pretty much it, anyway. Because I should, should have Cav for my reinforcing army as well. Okay, and go after them. Why did you stop? Go after them, please. It's an orc band. Got him? Come on, it's just one. Right, your are not exactly closer, but you might as well go. I don't think you'll catch them though. We await your command. Halbeards, what else? Mullers, infantry. There should be another general, another general proper. I think this is the guy. Oh, we already got him? Hold up. What's his name? Kamol as well. I'm confused, to be honest. Anyhow, I think this is... Did I just lose two knights to friendly fire? Of course I did. Right, it doesn't even matter. Let's just exit battle and yep, they're gone. Did I recover my knights? Only one. Yeah, my I can reinforce from my armies. Anywho, I'll deal with uh, Seragost and all that, and I think I'll see you in the fight for Thorbind. I believe is the settlement down south. Can't remember exactly right now. I think it's Thorbind. Or something like that. 
But anywho, I'll see you in a couple of seconds in the fight for that settlement. And here we are in the battle for Tharband. They have a full garrison in the city. They also have a reinforcing army. They do have great beasts and troll catapults. Ugh. This might be a bit more bloody than I wanted. Especially since I only have the Chebuche army helping here. So I need to do as much as possible with my cav here. And hopefully my reinforcing army takes care of the great beasts. So far uh, they lost, kind of lost the same amount. Because in terms of troops, we are relatively even I mean, in numbers wise, I mean. Uh, are you going after my calf though? Let's try to go that way. Whoa, okay, there goes two great beasts. We have legionnaires over here. There goes another one. And there goes that was actually the general. Nice. Yeah, those legionnaires did their work and now running a mock. Perfect. You know, guard, you know what inspired them now? Because at this point everybody should start routing. Let's break the this side. Yeah. Routing, routing, perfect. Battle is very much in our favor. Victory will be ours. So let's chase as much as possible from here. Only half the enemy force remains. Yeah, they do still have trolls though. So maybe we'll have to be careful on if we continue that like front. This, we will smash the enemy. But don't think so. Right now, literally, is just chase from what it seems. Maybe I'll capture the gate on that side. The army flees the field. Pursue and that would be something. Down. I think I might be able, actually. Ow. The battle is very they do much have in our a trebuchet, not ours. a trebuchet, a uh, ballista. Is there anything else outside? Doesn't seem to be. Yeah, we, we took care of most of the troops outside. Just... A small charge over there. That was not great, to be honest. The battle is very much in our favor. And Victory hold will be ours. up, what's going on around here? Mm. Need to be careful though, because these guys do have their proper general inside the city. Which I actually forgot to mention that that proper general is actually the faction leader. Our soldiers have proved their worth today. The enemy's okay, walls we to capture the walls. Perfect. If we continue like this, we will smash the enemy. So I don't really need to break the gates. Uh, I think I'm doing too much friendly fire over there. Right, retreat. Yeah, we captured the gates on that side. Perfect. And these guys are actually ignoring Give It Cards. Chebuchet army. Cool. Yeah, I need you guys to be aggressive and attack. Okay, thank you. No, I need you to run. It looks like 
Interestingly enough. Some more on guard, orc molars. If we continue like this, we Hold will smash up. the enemy. Where do you wanna go? Hmm? You wanna go attack Gimel Cut's army? I kind of doubt it I'll be able to do some charge on this side, but might as well. Yeah, we managed to do a bit of damage. If we continue like this, we will smash the enemy. Ow. Worthy enemy, but no less dead for that. Well, Our that was a friendly fire. Dead. Without their general, they may lose <laughs> heart and flee. And there goes my captain as well. Nice. Give me the card. You know what? Or who comes here? Right. Just, I don't know, fire the gates. Maybe I'll do a bit of damage with... What should we say? Might as well have this gate broken as well. from those guys come on what's with this of course you guys I have one hit Maybe one more hit one more come on the there we go down. finally that took a bit all right Fire after those guys. Actually, you know what? The enemy are badly bloodied. They have lost yeah, half I managed their to men. get one guy. One orc. Kind of doubt it out. And do some damage. Although, he had another hit against that stack. This is pretty much it. We've lost control of the city. Did that hit? Mm, only managed to get one. I think I might do more friendly fire this way, to be honest. Yeah, stop, 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 stop. That was a bit of friendly fire over the there. City. And a big one. Ow. A cute attempt, nonetheless. And there goes almost half of my units again. Give me the cards inside the city. What's here? All the earths. no longer command the city. I might as well charge into these guys. The battle is very much Have in a our bit favor. of fun. Victory will be ours. And the enemy army flees. Nah, the continue battle. And run them down. Till the last orc. Are you guys moving towards the town square? Or not? This is a clear victory. Let's see if. Apparently, some of the eight got away. Right. Lost some of the calf, only healed one. But this is the Chebusha army. Not really important. Okay, these guys again lost half. And I'll have to see if I'm gonna bother merging, to be honest. I still have a lot of units around. So I don't really need to merge up. And I still have the garrison from. Uh, Perkex the Lord and uh, the Black Gate. Now they're still there. So I can bring them as well. So like I said in the previous episodes. I don't think we're going to need. Any more training to happen. Anywho. I'm going to manage. Uh, Thorband and all that. And I'll see you. Probably in the next fight for. What was it? Morigost I think. Was the castle. And with 
any other possible messages about Mordor. Since they're down to Morigost, again, I think that's the settlement's name, and Barador, and that's it. And welcome to the siege of Morigost. I was right about the name in the end. And we are far away in turns, I think like 20 turns later or so. The reason being, I wanted to give Mordor a chance to, I don't know, organize near the settlement, but they were dilly dallying around and it's only the garrison left. And I said, that's great. I'm just gonna attack them. Despite the fact they asked for a peace deal. So we were at peace up until I did this siege. Up until we are doing this siege at this moment. And we shall see how it goes. They do have the faction leader here as well. And interestingly enough, I haven't seen the factioner. Where is he? Not sure if somebody's gonna become faction leader. Because this Mordor still has some generals laying around. Or if this is the end of Mordor. Since they won't have any generals to take up the mantle of faction leader. We shall see though. In the meantime... Stop firing because somebody is charging around here. Or wants to charge. Speaking of which, I see fight is going on. Let's just inspire the troops and okay, you can continue firing, I guess. He does not want. We've captured the enemy's walls. Okay, okay. Enough firing because we're gonna do friendly fire. Right, this should be a quick snipe. We lost three percent, and they lost. Already like 35, close to 35. Uh, we shall see how many casualties I'm gonna have in the end. One of my reinforcing armies, though, hold up. Our men have slain the enemy general. Yeah, no, that's the, the faction leader. Enemy, Problem no is, dead for that. we must press our advantage. Somebody made it up until here. Interesting. But they didn't do much damage. Oh well. Just go inside, my minions. Go inside. We should have the other gate as well. Perfect. And to be honest, I do hope this is not the end of Mordor. Because I kind of want to take Barador while. It's under Mordor's control, not just as a rebel. So maybe Mordor has another general in the north, like uh, Isengard and Dorgudur has, just hidden away to keep the faction going, despite the fact they don't have any faction air leaders in their settlements area right and so far now i see he organized right in the middle they will have some trolls that might do a bit of damage but other than that again it is just a waiting game they won't be routing because they're fighting in the town square so in the end it's gonna be the amount of troops I will lose. Give me the card. You know what? Do a sprint. I know you're at your old age. I do a sprint inside the settlement. And maybe I'll take him around. If there's enough time. That is 
as well kind of overrunning the town square right now only half the enemy force remains i mean they already lost 80 percent if you say that's 50 percent then okay let's give a cut he should be on his way Don't think how getting time though to do much. Okay, ninety percent, ninety one, ninety two, and ninety three. I managed to do some battle with Gimel Cad, apparently. Here, halberds with artillery, more halberds. Okay, give me the card. Go have fun. For you to get a piece of the action. Fingers crossed, not for the him to get very much in our favor. Sniper will be ours. We cannot doubt it. Right, he lost a couple of bodyguards. Three to be exact. And there's just one Halbier, the one guy over the victory, there. We have won right, here today. in the end. We only lost eight percent and these guys are completely gone no hidden troops anywhere right i'll see you on the campaign map for this one and let's see if this took out mordor completely or one of the other generals will become faction leader and the answer is My Lord. Our courage and honor Sterminate. conquered. And okay. Mordor is not out. Who became the faction leader though? I'm gonna stick you. Have Are you the faction leader? Blade. No. Right. And for you to see, yeah, we're in we still have 136 turns left. Uh, had a lot of generals moving around Lord, and put some towers. So basically, you could say we have a tug of war, a toggle fog of war happening right now. And yeah, we had a mission to take it. Anyway, we still uh, need a couple of towers around here. And we have complete fog of war. Huh. Right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do the measurement and all that can completely and can upgrade it directly. I'm just gonna do the management, yes, my lord, and all that. I think I may be able to take these guys out from Thorband we'll as well, yeah, and Thorband. Is not bordering Mordor, so we're good to take the garrison out. He can reach, but I don't think he'll do anything. Alright, just as a precaution, I'm gonna have these two guys over here. Alright, I'm gonna do the, like I said, management off screen. And I'll see you next time to see if by any chance, I don't know, Mordor magically disappears. I don't see their faction leader anywhere. I'm gonna Unless, you. I don't know, he may be here. And I'm not seeing it. He might not be the leading general. Anywho, I'll see you in a couple of seconds. Alright, we have the Raiders Guild, yes. And, yep, yeah, last mission to take Baradur. And... 
Okay. Nothing. Have a taste of my blade. So Mordor is still around. Not sure where they have the faction leader. I'm gonna have a taste but of I'm gonna stick you. yeah. I'm gonna leave it here for now and in the next part we're just gonna have our final episode. I'm just gonna start it with the siege for Barad-dûr and what I'll do I'll probably console command these guys near Barad-dûr try to see if he can organize or something you know all his armies and then have them near Barador, so we can have our last fight against Mordor with most of his troops, maybe. Right, but for now, hopefully you enjoyed this episode, guys. Yes, a lot of turnscaping, but not much can be shown. So I didn't want you to bore, bore you with management and all that. But yeah, I'll see you next time. In our last episode and as always don't forget to take care